we have a steady diet of football, track and field, and Winter Olympics to come. It's been a busy week in the local football circle with yesterday's Digicel knockout finals and now two international friendlies for the under-17 girls team. Cayman hosts the Jamaicans this weekend with the first match tomorrow night at the Annex starting at 7. Cayman steps up their preparations for their historic trip to the CONCACAF finals in Costa Rica next month. Coming off a tough trip to Florida last weekend, the national side will get another stern test against one of the Caribbean's top teams. Staying with some football news now, Georgetown upsets Bodentown to win the Digicel Knockout Cup last night. Number 23, Justin Pierre opened the scoring for the home team in the fifth minute. Georgetown doubles the lead in the 27th. From this play down the right side, Ian Lindo beating the Bodentown goalie Ramon Sealy, giving Georgetown a 2-0 advantage at the halftime break. But Theron Wood pulled one back in the second half in the 60th minute, but Georgetown holds on for the victory, making the most of their opportunity after Tigers were disqualified from the final. Now to some track and field news now. The private sector community is jumping in to help the Carifta Games organizing committee for those games. At today's second press conference, five new sponsors have given their support to the meet. COC, Sagicor, Tortuga, Miracle Brokers and Paramount Carpets all signing on. Also today, the Carifta team has been now booted up to seven members from four after our last newscast. Sprinter Chantal Morrison, jumper Ashley Nolte, there she is, and distance runner Joel Bal La Fonte, all making the grade for the April 3rd to 5th meet. Coach Tyron Yen expects great things from the unit in six weeks' time. Track and field on the island gets busy in the coming days with the popular CMB relays, the annual Truman Bodden meet, and the special Scotia relays, all at the Truman Bodden Sports Complex in the coming days. With the new spreading of solid skating program here on the island, assistant coach for an NHL team, the Florida Panthers, Jim Houghton, decided to come check out our talent. Hilton was on island earlier this week working with our talent at the King Sports Center in a two-day clinic. He coached one of the NHL's top players, Sidney Crosby, in the early stages of his career. Now, Hilton is here trying to see if he can unearth another super talent from our pool. He was immediately impressed with what he saw. I'm in a little bit of shock and odd how well, in particular, how well he skated because that's the foundation of hockey, roller hockey, anything. So it's obvious right from the get-go how good an athletic ability a lot of these kids have, which, again, is a foundation for a lot of success. I think the search for talent is ongoing, and, and you, you cover the globe right now looking for talent. So if this is a way to introduce uh, some of the fine athletes of, of this country to our sport, then all the better. And before I go this evening, let's check in on the Winter Olympics. Our skier, Dow Travers, doesn't hit the slopes in, until Sunday in the giant slalom. But an athlete who visited Cayman last year lands gold last evening. Legendary snowboarder Sean White, a.k.a. Carrot Top, totally outclasses the half-pipe competition to win his event last evening. White visited Cayman last year for a skate camp at the Black Pearl Skate Park. Hopefully, we can unearth uh, Sean White in the future. He was all business last evening, however, scoring two huge runs with some never-before-seen never, never before seen tricks. Wow, for his second Olympic gold medal. Congratulations to him.